We are going to do welcome to the online section of Math 160. We are going to do hypothesis testing. And we love it. So we're going to do a review of hypothesis testing from last time. We have these steps. Just follow them. First, we want to set up the null and alternative hypothesis. Secondly, as usual, identify alpha, the critical region, and the critical values. Next up, draw the graph as it is so far, followed by identifying the test statistic. And then, of course, we would like to plot the test statistic on the graph. And number six, we either want to reject or fail to reject the null hypothesis. Let's let you fill in the blank there. Reject the null. Never touching the alternative. Either reject or fail to reject the null hypothesis. And finally, restate the conclusions in non-technical terms. That is, does the evidence support the claim or does the evidence uh, not support the claim? Okay, moving on. We had this type of uh, problem. Crap. <laughs> Stop. Cut. Hey! All right. Sorry about that. So, uh... Okay, so we're going to review a problem real quick. And the problem is this one. This is the last one on your worksheet. It is example four. So I figured since you already did it, as soon as you got home from class, now would be a good time to review it. Good work. So uh, here we have in a Gallup poll of 1,012 randomly selected adults, 9% said that cloning of humans should be allowed. Use a 0 .01 significance level. Aha, uh -huh, there's our alpha. To test the claim, this is the key information, to test the claim that less than 10% of all adults say that cloning of humans should be allowed. That is your claim. Can a newspaper run a headline that less than 10% of adults are opposed to cloning of humans? That's your secondary question. You need to run the hypothesis test first in order to do it. <clears throat> so first of all, we need to write down the claim. So. The claim is that, if you've got this already on your sheet of paper, then uh, what do we have here? To uh, significance levels, we have an alpha significance level of 0.01. But what we want to do is test the claim that less than 10% of all adults say that cloning of humans should be allowed. So less than 10%. Does this seem like a proportion, a mean, or a standard deviation? What do you think, Carla? Carla's here right now. Woo! Uh, I, does it seem like a proportion, a mean, or a standard deviation? A proportion, a mean, or a stand, standard deviation. It's a percent. Proportion. And percents are usually Portion. portions. Thank you to Jamie over there behind the camera. Very nice. <laughs> so, uh, less than 10%. So this is P is less than 0.10. 0.10. Point 0.1 or point 0.10. Good. The direct opposite of that would be P is greater than or equal to point 0.10. Then we simply have to identify the null and alternative hypothesis, remembering actually that our claim is the one we put first up here. Our claim is that we're trying to test the claim at less than 10%. So this is, we pick our which one has the equal sign? This one does, so it goes to the null. P equals 0.10. We're going to drop off the inequality. And then this one goes to the alternative. P is less than 0.10. And that one appears to be where our claim went. So our claim this time is in the alternative hypothesis. Aha. Okay, good. That's step one. We set it up. Now, step two here is... And... Good, so we'll come back to that. Step two is that we want to set up our critical regions. So, setting it up real quick, we have uh, this little area right here. Looks to be a one-tailed test, not a two-tailed, but a one-tailed test, and it's to the left. Our alpha is 0.01, so it looks something like this. It's left side because that's pointed to the left. And all of it, it's one-tailed, so all of our alpha is going to go into that section. All of our alpha goes into that critical region. Yes. So then all that's left to do is find out, hmm, 
What is the critical value? What is that critical value? Aha, uh -huh, I don't know what the critical value is. So I'm going to find out. If it's one-sided, it's 0.01. So let's see, shall we? We will do that with each other. I hope you guys can see this. Okay. So we're going to look up 0.01. You're good. Yeah, all right. So 0.01 appears to be approximately, can we see that at all? You've got 0 0.0102 or 0 0.0099. 0 0.0099 is the closest, so that's negative 2.33. Negative 2.33. All right. All right. Okay, so negative 2.33 is our critical value. Negative 2.33. There's only one critical value because it's a one-tail test, and there it is. So great, now our next step. Now we know where our critical region is. We are going to go to do the test statistic. This one was step one. This is step two and three. Step four is the test statistic. Beautiful. This one is for a proportion. Z equals. Z equals p hat minus p divided by the square root of pq divided by n. That is fabulous. Yes, very good. So, uh, what we're going to do is first find p hat. That's what we need to know. We need to know p hat. So, for p hat, we have on our original problem that, I will come over here and show you, 9%, if we look back at the problem, yes, it says, over there in the upper right hand part, 9% said that cloning of humans should be allowed. Does it right? Ah, right there. <laughs> so yeah, it's actually, yeah, hey, that'll work. 9% right there. 9% right said that cloning of humans should be allowed. So that's what we want to look at. That's our P hat. Let's get this guy back on there. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, yes, thank you. So, 9%, so that makes p hat is equal to 0 0.09. So that's 0 0.09 minus what do we think p is? p is assumed to be 0.1. So that's going to be 0 0.10 divided by the square root of pq, which is 0.1 times 0.9. PQ, 0 0.1, 0 0.9, divided by the square root of N, or the square root of all that in N, was 1,012 randomly selected people. So that's 1,012. We have all that data. And now that we have it, we are able to find out. I challenge you to do that with your, or encourage you, do that with your calculator. And this is what we have so far. Got it? So here's what we have so far. Boom, there it is Z. 0 0.09 minus 0 0.10 divided by the square root of 0 0.1 times 0 0.9 divided by 1,012 gives us a, a Z value of negative 1.06. So this here becomes negative 1.06. And we're good. We can keep focused. Well, actually, let's turn it back here real quick. So here we have it. Turn very well, it only goes up yeah, and down. Crazy. All right, we're good. There's Whoa. <laughs> All right. Negative 1.06. Let's keep everybody awake. Negative 1.06. Hmm. So you should be thinking to yourself, is that an unusual z value or is that not an unusual z value? Well, remember we can move these around now. Unusual is now past negative 2.33, less than negative 2.33. Step five here is that we plot our test statistic, negative 1.06. And we ask ourselves, oh, is that usual or unusual? Well, it's not in the critical region. So, what are we going to do? Reject or fail to reject? Fail to reject. Fail to reject. The answer is fail to reject. And we're going to fail to reject the null hypothesis, leaving us with, that's uh, step four. This one was step five. 
And step six, which we're going to drop 